Baltimore County Public Schools Secondary ESOL Newcomer. Welcome, my name is Miss Hanson and I work in the office of ESOL. Let's start working on learning more English. This is lesson number seven. Have a look at today's outcome. Read it to yourself or to somebody near you. So what are we going to do today? That's right, we're going to apply our knowledge of water scarcity in order to write a letter to the United Nations. And why are we going to do that? Because we want to request access to clean water for all people. So the United Nations, here is a picture of the United Nations headquarters in New York City. Sometimes it's referred to as the UN. So the U here and the N here. The United Nations has 193 member states and it can take action on problems in the world. So if it can take action on problems, hopefully that means it can solve problems. So what problem could we write to the United Nations about? Do you remember the last lesson, lesson number six? What was the problem? Lack of access to clean water. So remember we looked at different countries in the world. We looked at the United States and the average person in the United States uses 156 gallons of water a day. But in Mali, the average person only uses around three gallons of water a day. That's because they have lack of access to clean water. So let's see if we can write a letter to the United Nations to solve or take action on the problem of lack of access to clean water. So here is an overview of a letter. So the first thing that you would do at the top right hand side of your letter is you would write your name. Underneath your name, you would write your address where you live. Then on the left hand side, underneath your address, you would write the United Nations address because we are writing to the United Nations. Underneath that, you would put today's date and then you would put the greeting. Now the person who is in charge at the United Nations is called the Secretary General. So our greeting, here the word dear, would be followed by the title of the person in charge who is Secretary General. Then we're going to write our message. So what are we going to write about to the Secretary General of the United Nations? We're going to write about the problem of lack of clean water. And lastly, you're going to write yours sincerely. So this is how you end your letter. So you finish your message, you write yours sincerely, and then you will sign your signature. You will sign your name here. Now, sometimes if you sign your signature, it's difficult to read. So underneath that, you're going to write your name so it's easy to read. So this is the outline of a letter. So let's remind ourselves of what we learned in the last lesson. So in lesson number six, we learned that water is not available for everyone in the world. And we learned there were three reasons. So one of them is water waste. So people waste more water than ever before. Another reason was climate change. And then the last reason we learned about was pollution reducing water quality. So we're going to use this information from lesson number six to start writing our letter. 
So we said that water is not available for everyone in the world. So I'm going to use that in my letter. So I'm going to write my greeting, dear Secretary General, I am writing this letter because I have learned that clean water is not available for everyone in the world. Then I'm going to carry on my message in the letter with reason number one from lesson number six. So we said that humans waste more water than ever before. More people mean more water is used for sewage, cleaning, construction, and manufacturing. So here it will go in my letter. So the world population has increased to eight billion. Remember, we learned that there are more and more people in the world today. So today's humans waste more water than ever before, and more people mean more water is used for sewage, cleaning, construction, and manufacturing. Then I'm going to look at reason number two. So we said climate change results in some places becoming wetter and others becoming drier, which can both result in clean water shortage. So I could say here, in addition, climate change results in some places becoming wetter and others becoming drier, which can both result in clean water shortage. Now have a look at the beginning of this sentence. What are the two words? In addition, this is what is known as a transition. So this is a transition phrase. It connects the former sentence with the sentence here. Let's move on to reason number three. So we said water, air and land pollution reduce water quality, which means less clean water is available. Together with this, water, air and land pollution reduce water quality, which means less clean water is available. Again, look at the beginning of this sentence. What do you think these three words are? Together with this. That's right. This is another transition. This is a transition phrase that connects the last sentence with this sentence right here. So, at the beginning of this lesson, we learned that United Nations has 193 member states and can take action on problems in the world. So, if it can take action on problems, it can find a solution. And what do we want the United Nations to find a solution to? Lack of access to clean water water. So let's look at how we can end our message in our letter. Mr. Secretary General, what is the United Nations doing to take action on the problem of lack of access to clean water for many people in the world? So this is a question. What are they doing? What are they going to do to solve the problem? This is a problem that must be solved. Then we're going to end the letter, yours sincerely, and then you would sign your name and then underneath that, write your name. So let's go back to our outcome for today. Did you apply your knowledge of water scarcity? Yes, you did. And what did you use that knowledge to do? You wrote a letter to the UN. And why did you write a letter to the UN? Requesting access to clean water.
great job. So now what you should do is take a piece of paper or write an email and write a letter to the Secretary General of the United Nations asking that the United Nations solves the problem of water scarcity so that all people in the world have access to clean water. Great job. I'll see you next time. Bye.